Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. They were checking out 16 candies. From Envy Born Games. Yeah. Part of their tiny game series. Nice. This uh, game plays two to four players and has a box play time of 20 to 30 minutes. Now, when I mean tiny box, I mean, look how little. It's tiny. It's like really thin. It's nice. So, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this super colorful game while I teach you all the rules. Okay. It was provided to us. By yes, I should say, thanks to Envy Born Games for providing us this copy of 16 Candies. But they didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. They gave it to us because they know we like to play all, all the, the games. games. So deal each player out 16 of these little, tiny licorice pieces. Look how little they are. They fit like several of them would fit on my fingertip. So each player gets 16 and then you're going to deal each player three cards. So you'll notice that these cards have two halves on them. There's usually a side with a lot of candies and then a side with a few candies. So um, you are going to try to get the most candies of the same type on the top half of your cards. So only the top half is going to be considered whenever you're scoring around. You can always rotate cards in your hand to be any orientation you want as long as it is your turn. So on your turn, you can draw the top card of the draw pile or the discard pile uh, to your hand. So th there's going to be a draw pile here and a discard pile starting out just like this. I can draw the top card of the draw or the discard pile and then discard one card. Optionally, you can also call. You can say, I've got candy if you think you've got a higher hand than at least one other player. All the opponents get one final turn before everyone reveals their cards and then the player with the lowest hand must discard or eat the penalty candies on the top left corner of their cards. Now, let's say that on my turn, I drew this, discarded this, and say, I've got candy. Steph would have one extra turn, and then I would reveal what I've got. Looks like I've got nine plus three wilds for 12 candy corn. If I win... I call that I've got candy. If I win, I add two candy to my health pool. If I have the middle hand, including uh, highest hand, including ties, I should say. Mm -hmm. If I've got the middle hand, including ties, I lose a candy. Mm -hmm. If I have the lowest hand, I lose my cards penalty candy, which is six, as you can see. From the licorice on the tops of the cards, two, four, six, plus one additional candy. If I had a tie for lowest hand, only the player who called I've Got Candy loses their cards penalty candy amount plus an additional candy. Now let's say that you called I've Got Candy and I've got this, okay? If you've got the highest hand, and you didn't call I've Got Candy, or the middle hand, nothing happens. You just don't lose anything. You don't gain anything, nothing. If you have the lowest hand, including ties, unless the tie is with the player who called I've Got Candy, you're going to take your penalty candy amount. Not with the plus one. Yeah, I would just lose six if Steph has more than me. And she called out I've Got Candy. There is such a thing called an instant round win. If you can get the four, five, and six of the same candy type on the cards, you reveal your hands immediately and you win the round. And opponents must immediately reveal their hand, whatever they've got, in the orientation they've got it. Mm -hmm. They can't turn it. They just lose their licorice pieces. Now, if you're playing with real candy, you can eat them. But when you're playing with these little licorice pieces, the rules say, do not eat these little pieces. You know why? Nobody eats licorice. That's right. That's right. Nobody eats licorice. That's 
So don't eat it. So that is basically all the rules. We keep going until... Um, do we go until uh, um, someone that, loses all their pieces? Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, the, the player with the most candy in their health pool, when someone gets eliminated, is the winner. Now, in a two-player game, it's pretty much a fight to the death. Basically, I'm going to eat all my candy. You get the first player token. Yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're ready to go. Look at that six choco piece there. Whoa. I don't want it. Whoa. I drop from the top. You you gonna drop from the top? Yep. All right. How about this? And then discard one. I will. Oh. Uh. Mm, oh. You want that? Sure. I've got candy. So I still get a turn. You get a turn. You always get the best. So I can't help it. I always go for the four, five, six. I, I got never, candy. Ever do it? I got candy. It's like I could go and think I have more, but I know I don't because... Because you never do? So you're going to go for the smallest amount. So this is a strategic play for Steph to do. Just say, I know I've got the least. Well, what if I didn't have anything? Well... You'd you feel silly, right? I have nine. I have five, eight, eleven. So I figured that was good enough. I lose three. You gain these three or nope. they're just gone? gone? Uh... I have the highest hand, so I get two. Mm, rude. Yeah, that's what happens. You get the lollipops. Um, the loser gets the lollipops. I don't remember. Why don't you shovel this up while I find out? I do it. Even heroic singing it. <laughs> no, he's the one who got me singing it. Oh, move the first player marker each round. Me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Sure, I take it. You want that? Nice. Don't like. No. Don't like those gummy bears. No. No. I pulled too many. I got the candies. No, you don't. Yep. Yeah. All right. If I give up again. You give up again? Yep. I needed that. And that. 11, 14. You had it. I could have gone through that whole day. <laughs> you could have. You get two. I get two. Hmm. I'm not very good at this game. I don't think I won one hand last game either. <laughs> That's true. I've won like 27 hands in a row. <laughs> oh, well, some games I just can't be good at. Did you have predictions on this one? I did. I don't know if anybody voted. You're first. Look at that. Uh. Oh, how about that? I think I got every color there is to offer. So, I guess I'll take that. I got candy. No. Yes, I'll do it again. All right, well, you won't beat me this time. Why won't I? I got 13. Wow. I got the I got five and three for your six and four. So I lose two, four, five, six. And I gain nothing. You gain nothing. 
Wow. That was the discard pile. That was the risk. I had to take it. I had to. I wanted that. I want to one day get four, five, six. Please. Please. Yeah, you're going to need it. Hey. I'm just being honest with you. Hey. What? Hey. And me. Yes. Covering it up. I know. I do that. Um, not great. Got big candy. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Twelve. Minus four. That looks like four. Two for me. Oops. You did win a hand. I did that right. I did win a hand, but I didn't get to call it because you always call it. I take those risks. It's like in Cabo. It's like, I'm just going to call it first, call first it. and see what happens. <laughs> That's how I like to play. That's how you like to play Cabo? Yeah. Cabo Silver? Or Cabo anything. Did you, uh, did I, did I move that? You just did. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Uh -huh. You want that wild? Sure. I'm going to call it. Good. Three. Thirteen. Yeah, that's why I did it. <laughs> I got two back. Good job. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to try for that one. All right, do I want this? Nope. Could have had it, you know. Mm-hmm. That's why I covered it. Wow. Wow. Hey, Geek Girl Podcast. How's it going? Hey, Geek Girls. You changed your name. Oh. Nice. Nothing here. Literally nothing. You rebranded your platform. That's cool. That's exciting. Times are changing. You did that. Yep. Back from London. That sounds nice. Sounds like a fun trip. You. Me. Oh, now you play that. What do you mean? Now you play that. That's what I mean. All right. I take it and call it. I'm good. Of course you needed that. Thirteen. Fourteen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. At least six. Oh, you visited Board Game Cafe? That sounds like fun. I don't really go to a lot of board game cafes. I won't lie. 
I mean, my board game cafe is my living room. When you get twenty three hundred games, that's what happens. <laughs> you. Oh, hey, it's me. Uh, I'm gonna draw this. How about that? And call it. And call it, huh? Yeah, sure. What could go wrong? I'll draw this and uh, resign gracefully. I had eleven. I had uh, five, eight, so yeah, or something like that. All right, I get the lollipop. Get it to me. Oh no! Lollipop, lollipop. Shy, you're at about a ten. Is you down about a four? <laughs> Lollipop, lollipop. We are playing. Six no, why is it gotta be crap when it's my turn? Sixteen candies, a little pocket-sized game. Call it. I call it with a four, five, six. All right, good. <laughs> there you go. You got what you wanted. Thanks. <laughs> you got your wish. Thing. Prize are done. Do the thing. Oh, do the thing. Yeah. You're That's in slow motion right now. Slow mo lotion. <laughs> slow mo lotion. So, cute little uh, uh, hand management game. That's very fast. Yeah. Uh, so in the new Tiny series, so he's got a bunch of games in the series, and they're all pretty different from one another. There's a card-laying one called Confusing Lands, which we like for two players. There's a solo game called Defrag. If you like puzzly-type things, you're trying to line up cards to get pairs. Uh, 16 Candles is... Uh, not Candles, Candies. Candies. Uh, Where's funny. Defrag? Defrag's over here. Over there. Well, we should show it. Talking about them. Yeah, so we should show it. So there's Defrag as well. If you enjoy uh, abstract card movement uh, sort of games, um, then this might also be your jam. And also Sirens. So that's a two-player game. Um, also card playing. So yeah. And then the Confusing Lands, which we've already streamed. So go check out that video. And you've got it in your quiver now. So <laughs> it's already packed away. So that was a quiver worthy game. Quiver worthy, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So super fun little collection here. So we recommend checking those out from. They all fit in little small little footprints. So. Yeah, it's a cute little box. Yep. So be sure to check out the entire tiny game series from Envy Born Games. And if you enjoyed this teach and playthrough and you want more just like it, you can go over to YouTube and search for Board Gamer Steph and see our tons, uh, hundreds and hundreds. So many videos. 1,400-ish videos. Or you can just join us on twitch.tv slash Steph every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we stream through three games or more every single stream. So come join us on Twitch, where we play all the games. And uh, for those on Twitch, we will be right back.